In this lesson, we're going to tackle a few sort of real-world, more practical reasons to be able to factor trinomials and binomials and other polynomials, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so our first example here says that one leg of a right triangle is three feet longer than the other leg, and the hypotenuse of the triangle is 15 feet long. What we need to do is find the dimensions of the triangle. So the first thing we'll do is call our one leg, our shorter leg, just x. So the dimensions of that leg are x. And if that's the case, then the longer one would be x plus 3, because it's 3 feet longer. Now, we know the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And since it works for any right angle triangle, and that's what this is, we should be able to apply it here. So let's start with that. Let's say that side A is our x side. So we'd have x squared plus x plus 3 squared equals 15 squared. So here we can distribute our x plus 3. This is a, a difference, or it's a, a perfect square trinomial. So we're going to have x squared plus x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 15 squared, which is 225. So then we'll bring the 225 over and combine our x squareds, and we'll get 2x squared plus 6x minus 216 equals 0. Now we can factor out the 2. So we'll get 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 108, oops, minus 108 equals 0. And now we need to factor that trinomial. So if we go through and find, we need two numbers that multiply to be 108, negative 108, and add to be 3. Uh, 9 times 12 is 108. Um, negative 9, positive 12, yeah, that would work. So we have 2 times x plus 12 times x minus 9 equals 0. So then the 2 is just hanging out out here. It's not going to be part of any solution. But since we have three things multiplied together, as long as either one of these ends up being 0, the statement will be true. So we have x plus 12 that needs to be 0, which means that x could be negative 12. Or we have x minus 9 that needs to be 0, which means that x could be positive 9. So our two solutions then are negative 12 and positive 9. Now, obviously, it can't be a side length of negative 12. So it'd have to be a side length of 9. So if this one is 9 and this one is positive 12, then positive 12 squared is 144. And 9 squared would be 81. And 144 and 81 is 225. So that works. So we have our sides are 9 and 